Artful Living in Ohio is presented by Sharon Weiss Galleries in Columbus's Short North and by Vision Antiques and Estate Sales and Vasari Appraisal Services. Vision and Vasari on West 5th Avenue in Columbus. Hi, I'm Lisa Godfrey. Welcome to another edition of Artful Living in Ohio. Today, think of our tour as Artful Living in a High Rise. First, I'd like to introduce you to my husband, Jay Godfrey. Jay's going to tell you how he started collecting art. So I really got my start collecting art with a gift of this limited edition Moreau from a good friend of mine and work colleague, Jeff Maurer. Later, his wife, Julie Klein, who's both a curator and an art consultant, was able to help me acquire several other nice pieces of art, including this limited edition Robert Rauschenberg. Thanks, Jay. So this is Baby Bo. He's going to help us out a little bit. I'm so excited to share with you our artwork. Um, I always ask people when I'm interviewing for Artful Living in Ohio, do you hire a decorator to help with your artwork? Well, we did. We hired Chris King. And I'm starting here because this painting by Karen LaValle is the focal point for the entire condo. When hanging all of the artwork, we called in a professional, Chip Carmen, who redid all the hardware, and I prefer salon style, so this is what he and Chris came up with. These are several Columbus-based artists, or Central Ohio artists. Um, the large one is by Matthew McFerrin, this is a jazz singer and guitarist. Matthew also did the dog laying down on the little blue rug. And he did the white horse charging off the canvas. We know so many artists in Columbus. We have um, Jay fly fishing. I did that one. The one to the left of it was by a student of CCAD. And I was asked to frame it, but I didn't want to. I love the, the brush stroke on the side of the painting. I wanted that to show. And at the top, we have Ron Malecki, who has the dancer sitting on the floor. And to the right, Annette Simon. And then we'll walk over here into the corner. This is a portrait of me. And I'll tell you the story during the lockdown. Portrait artist didn't have any models to to paint. They're, the groups weren't getting together. Karen LaValle, my studio mate, loves to paint portraits, and I was available. So we sat in the studio. I brought in a kimono that my sister-in-law brought back from Japan, put it on, she painted, we had the best time. This is Naishuan Ping, right below the portrait. And then one of my flowers, and this is a Cincinnati artist, Mary Beth, who does several workshops. It's gorgeous. Jay brought back the glass from California. I'm so fortunate to have great studio mates, Karen LaValle, Tamar Radowski, and Amy Adams. This is a little sunflower that Amy Adams did. And in this picture are the first two paintings that Sharon Weiss um, sold of mine. I'd like to give a shout out to Sarah from Archive Gallery in German Village. She built this large frame. She framed in the TV to make it look like we have a masterpiece in our living room. And then we can watch TV. This painting is very emotional for me. When I first saw it, I started crying. It reminded me of my father and being out in the country on property that he owns. And there was this old abandoned truck. And we used to use it as target practice. And I thought, I can't buy this because every time I look at it, I'm going to cry. But I thought, if I ever see it again, I've got to get it. And thank goodness the next time I ran into it, I bought it. And this is the entrance to my cousin Suzanne's barn. That is her beautiful horse, Belle, that now has a couple ponies. And this is 
She said this is what she sees every time she walks into her barn. So that's a special painting too. And then if we go right around here, Stephanie Rond, Anita Dawson, she does beautiful fabric work. Ruth Gless, who is um, not just an artist, she's also an architect. Another Stephanie Rond, and then Naishuan Ping. So I told you that I have um, these wonderful studio mates. This is Tamara Radowski. This is down in Schiller Park. She was taking a class with Joe Lombardo and painted this. Downtown Worthington by Cheryl Burnt. And this is one of my favorites. I'm obsessed with this little bench. This is by Rachel Stern. It's my studio mate, Karen LaValle. People ask me all the time, do you have a favorite painting? I really don't. I love them all for so many different reasons. I think if you love it, you buy it, then you find a place for it. Okay, let me show you a little bit more of the condo. We're going to go to my favorite room, and it's the butler's pantry. We visited our neighbors, Ron and Will, and we fell in love with their pantry, so we pretty much duplicated it. I am obsessed with glassware. I love collecting dishes. I inherited this. I got it honestly. I, I just love dishes. I love silver. So my obsession with egg cups started with this tiny little painting we found in Alexandria. And I started painting egg cups of my own after we purchased that. So all of my family is from the South. I'm the only one that was born in the North. And I visit the South often. Whenever I go to Knoxville, Tennessee, I go to Bobby Todd's and I found this painting that was painted in the 1950s and I fell in love with the zinnias. And then we have a couple more of Annette Simon. So now we're in the guest room and I love color. In the South, there's a lot of portraits. This is a portrait of my Aunt Teenie when she was a little girl. And this is really special. My grandmother Park's best friend was Mildred Best. And she painted this for my grandmother and it hung in my grandmother's dining room. So this is a very special painting. Michael Ganon took a picture of my mother, a picture of me. I lost my mother when I was young and I didn't have a photograph of us together as adults. So he took the two pictures, combined them, put the ocean in behind it, and I have a picture of my mother and me as adults. We're actually close to the same age in this painting. And now we're gonna go into our bedroom, which looks completely different. Let's join Jay again, and he's going to show you a couple more paintings. So this first one is by Michael McEwen. He has a special place in our hearts because he was Lisa's favorite art teacher. We saw this at an exhibition of Michael's a couple years ago at Art Access and loved it so much I had to buy it. But we couldn't just have one. Most of his paintings were much larger, and we needed another one that was the same size that would fit and pair with it. And we commissioned one from him uh, that he subsequently painted. Similar scene, but with a different light. And I think you'll agree that both of these look so good together. And so Lisa in our latest edition also happens to be the oldest painting that we have. And it's one by Alice Shilley, a famous Columbus born artist. This painting here is a little over 100 years old, and it was once in the collection of the Columbus Museum of Art. We were able to acquire it from another collector, and we just love it. And it was like we built the decoration of the whole room around this painting. So this is Margaret, Alice Shilley's niece, and she's wearing a riding habit. And we put a little horse down below her because of her love of riding horses. Jay and I would like to thank you for allowing us to share our home and our artwork. The next time you see me will be in a gentleman's home who also lives in a high rise that has a completely different style. I think you're going to love it too.
Artful Living in Ohio is presented by Sharon Weiss Galleries in Columbus's Short North and by Vision Antiques and Estate Sales and Vasari Appraisal Services. Vision and Vasari on West 5th Avenue in Columbus.